Welcome back to another Evil Anarchy Convention video. Today we're checking out the official merch booth for Anime Expo. This little booth that's outside Artist Alley was only open for day one. There was four different locations and we're going to check out one of the other locations with some friends later in the video. This is where you were able to get all of your official licensed merchandise for Anime Expo. I got a hat. But uh, they had lots of different stuff here, namely a lot of stuff to do with their mascot, and then they had some Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer tie-in products. They also had some shot glasses and the beer mug, or I don't, I don't think it's a mug, a beer glass. I have both of those from 2019 Anime Expo, but here's just some of the shots of some of the stuff they had. I was asking her about the water bottle because it kind of piqued my interest. I ended up bringing my own water bottle for the rest of the event because they actually installed some new water fountain type things that you were able to refill your water bottle at. These had not been at previous Anime Expos, at least I don't remember them. It's been a while since I've been to the LA Convention Center. Uh, so here's me walking away with my hat, my pin, I actually got two pins. Uh, I had to get the 30th anniversary pin and I had to get this little pin, it was very cool. And then of course the hat. And then the inside design for the hat was really cool as well, and we're actually now on day two of Anime Expo, and we're in the main entrance outside the exhibit hall. This line was much shorter than the day one line, and it didn't look like much had sold out. Today I'm back here with my friend Roxy and Ali Zul, and Roxy's here to get some stuff for herself, and she's checking out these shirts. And she got some pretty cool stuff here. This Anime Expo Max Krillic, my friend had actually gotten, and it looks really, really cool. I kind of regret not getting it, because I bet it would have looked great on my shelf. And then, of course, the power bank that they had for this event was really cool looking, too. Uh, and my friend Roxy here, she's showing off the 90s aesthetic shirt that she got. Very cool. It had different colors for the shirt. I believe it had, like, a minty green color as well. And then she actually got the portable charger. I'm actually really jealous. I kind of regret not getting it. It was really cool. And then, of course, just like me, she also got the 30th anniversary pin. Woo! But now we're going to cut over to some footage of the entertainment hall where we're doing some gotcha. This is some fun stuff. Hope you guys like it. Going to be more vlog-like. Catch you guys in a few. I got, I don't know. Oh well, my, my friends will know. Oh my butt, you've sexually harassed me. I'll do it. Oh, I got a pink one. Oh, I got her. Yo, you got Froppy. Yeah, open her up, crack her. Cracker open. I need to one more token. Uh, how do we open these? Is there like a specific way? I don't know. Oh, maybe. Oh, there's plastic. Yeah, there's like a. There's tape. Oh, there's tape. Oh, yeah, there's more not. Tape. I'm wrong. I just don't know what here, I'm doing. Here, you you hold the camera and I will. Wait, crack no, it. I need to. I need to know. Let a man open this jar for you. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Here, I'm about to put them in my pocket. I got that. You're gonna do? Oh, you're gonna do the Sanrio one again? Because I only have three tokens left. Yeah, I mean, I did. I did my hero, and that one was three. Oh, it is. Okay. And so is the Dragon Ball Z, and so is Minecraft. You know you're a pro Minecrafter, right? I actually used to play it. Oh, DBZ. Oh, 
hope we get uh, Goku or uh, Gogeta. Oh, you got Gogeta. That one's good. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, that one's, I mean, he's definitely like up on the top. You want me to open it for you? Okay. Let's see. It was like this and then. <laughs> And then I like squeezed it like such. There we go. Ooh. It's a keychain. Hello, hello. A shiny, tiny little man. <laughs> awesome. What you got? Oh, okay. She got Gogeta. She got lucky. Ooh. You gonna do another one? I have, yeah, no, I haven't done my first one. Really, this one right here. This one my last token, so I better chill out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to splurge. It's kind of easy to get excited and get up on. Oh. oh <laughs> you win once and then it's just, you gotta go again. That's how, that's how they get you in Vegas. What are you thinking, Roxy? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get that nine of these. Their face partially covered up. I'm gonna be honest. Mystery. I think that's a. I think that might be a, like, a very common thing. Oh yeah, totally. Days. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I got one. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know who this guy is. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, oh, so that's um. Oh, that's uh. So that's my hero, right? He's a teacher. Oh, yeah, my hero. He's oh. the best. I love that guy. <laughs> It's a fish. Oh my goodness, a fish? A fish? After we had our fun with our gotcha, we wanted to head over and check out the beer garden. There was this really cool berserk cosplayer right here, and of course we had to see the other gotcha machines over here, which were just completely crowded as well. They were the same things that we were doing, so there wasn't anything different that we were missing. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. I'm really happy with the gotchas that I got. I'm really happy that I got that froppy. But now we're just making our way out of the hall. There was this beautiful stage right here at the front. Now on this side of the convention center, there's usually just some rooms for the panels. There's a little food court and there's a little churro booth, but this year they had a cotton candy vendor and the whole area just smelled like delicious cotton candy. And they had this really cool One Piece board up here for Pluto TV. Guess Pluto TV is getting in the anime game. My man's here just walking through the hall with his Dakimura like that in hand. Now this was actually on Saturday, day two of the convention center. So as you can see, there's a lot of people here today. It's one of the busier days. I do feel like as the days went on, there was less people, but we came across this really, really cool Ryoko cosplayer. She's from an anime called Tenchi Muyo, which is a typical harem anime. It was on Toonami, Cartoon Network, whatever, back in the day. She's getting her gloves on. She had just finished eating. This is probably not the best spot for uh, a cosplay shoot or whatever, or getting a photo of someone, but it was still a really cool opportunity. Check out these two cards that I actually got from the Tenchi Muyo trading card game that's based on the anime. She actually had Ryo Oki as her backpack, which was super cool. Absolutely love it. Hey, hello. What have you got there? Big hurry. You look great. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> so after our rendezvous with Ryoko the Space Pirate, we make our way over to the beer garden, as every respectable adult, you know, should. 
and we come across this really cool blue couch. I'm kind of jealous. It's kind of cooler than my couch. But then as we're coming up onto the beer garden, this area had a big line area for people trying to get in the panels. There was two big panel areas here. And it's very hot out and very bright. The sun is beating down on us. And there was a lot of food trucks here, lots of food options. And as we get into the beer garden, there was a lot more food options in there as well. But we stopped outside because it looked like people were having to show their IDs to get in, but they were actually just showing their badges. You don't actually need to show your ID until you go to the stalls that are selling alcohol in the back left corner. There's also a lot of food stalls that are right behind me right now. And as we come out, we're gonna check that out. This place was absolutely packed to the brim with people. This was actually kind of small as far as beer gardens go. I believe the 2019 beer garden was larger than this one, but it was very poppin'. There was a stage back here in the, in the corner. This is really cool. I really liked all the outside venues. And this Anime Expo, even though it's very bright right now, it's kind of that time of day where it's like the sun's going down. But overall, the heat was not bad for this. Like, I believe the last few Anime Expos, you know, they were in the 90s, 100s. And this one, I don't think it got higher than like 85 throughout the day on the worst day. In fact, it actually got cooler each day of the event. So there's a stage, there was a private reserve booth over there, and then they had like a stand-up little like stage area with more table seating up there. Everyone's just chilling and vibing. This place is popping. Unfortunately, there's no open seats for us. So unfortunately, I don't have any footage of me sitting down and enjoying my time here in the beer garden because it was so crowded. Kind of wish I came back. My friends came back and they had like a lovely time chilling here all day long with some of their co-workers. They had some lovely food options here, but without a place to seat and the sun just blaring down on us, I was not like having... I was just not having it, okay? Like, maybe if I'd come back like an hour later, this place would have been a lot better. But this was also a little bit before I'd left. I was getting very tired. I had just done a full day before and a full day today. And here we are walking out. And for this next part, I could lie to you and say that we went to the bowling alley nearby to go get drinks afterwards, but this was actually lunch. And this was my second day here. This day we had gotten quesadillas and a pizza. We had also gotten nachos, but the nachos never arrived. My friend here is doing a little photo shoot for a peach flavored drink that she got for free because they wanted to do an Instagram post with a cosplayer dressing up as Princess Peach. What a lucky environment. There wasn't many people over here in this bowling alley and it was a great place to come get drinks and the food was pretty good. Uh, just their service was a little bit slow. Hey guys, Evil Anarchy here. I hope you liked my convention video. This is yet another one of my Anime Expo convention videos. I still have some more videos coming out, so be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out more as they come out. I'm kind of doing every other day. I tried to do every day, but it was just too much for me to handle. But uh, I got lots of more content coming out. I've still got more content from previous anime conventions coming out as well. You can check the links out for my two friends, Alizu and Roxy, to their Instagrams in the description below. Let me know down in the comments what else you guys want to see from Anime Expo. I still have a lot of footage that I haven't gone through, and you know I still need to do a lot of stuff for the exhibit hall and entertainment hall. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.